how to use Logic Step Sequencer to trigger sounds within Machine. Step one is to open up a multi-output instance of Machine. Step two is to go into Logic's mixer by either pressing X for it to appear on the bottom or Command-2 for it to open up in another window. And on the track where you have Machine, you're going to hit the plus button to get a dedicated track for each pad on Machine. For this video, I'm only going to use four tracks, but you can extend it to cover all the pads of Machine. Step three, I like to load up a random group within Machine, just so I can get an audible guide for when I'm setting the inputs and outputs. Step four will be inside the Machine software. And since we want to hear the sounds on an individual track basis within Logic, we'll have to route the sounds destination. So on the sound level, go to the channel menu followed by output. And under the audio tab, you're going to set the sounds destination. So sound one's destination will be external one, sound two's destination will be external two, and so on and so forth. Step five, we'll set the MIDI input so we can write MIDI notes within logic instead of machine. So go to the input section within the channel menu and on the MIDI tab, you'll set the source to host and the channel number to the appropriate track number. So one to one, two to two, and so on. Step six, you'll move to the group level and switch the MIDI key mode to drum kit. That's assuming you want to trigger one shots and samples from machine into logic. And since we won't be using machine step sequencer, it's a good practice to clear any patterns. So step seven is to clear all the patterns within machine. Otherwise you might end up hearing the sounds from both machine and logic. Step eight is more so for organization's sake, and that's to rename your tracks within logic. Steps nine and 10 are somewhat optional, but I like to do it so I don't always have the mixer open. So step nine is to highlight your tracks on the mixer, by selecting one and holding shift as you select the last. Do note that you don't have to include the track where the machine plugin is in as it's already in your arrange page. So while you have them highlighted, you're going to right click and select create track. Step 10 again is optional, but it's like creating a group bus similar to what you have in machine. So on the arrange page, highlight all your tracks, right click and select create track stack. I like selecting summing stack as it allows you to control and add effects on the entire stack, similar to the groups within machine. Step 11 is to create a pattern. So right click on the stack track and select create pattern. This will open up the step sequencer. On a side note, there isn't a key command to show and hide the step sequencer, but you can set this up by selecting the logic pro menu, followed by key commands and then edit. On the search bar on the top right, you can type in step sequencer, select show slash hide step sequencer, and in the key box, you can select what you want the key command to be. For me, I set it to option S. The last few steps will be within logic step sequencer. So step 12 will be to set the step sequencers rows. So for me, pad one on the machine is C2. So on the first track of logic sequencer, I'm going to select C2, followed by C sharp two on the next row, D2 on the next, and D sharp two for the fourth row. And since I'm only using four rows, I'm going to delete the unused ones. If you need to add more, press the plus button and select your next note for it to appear on your sequencer. And again, for organization's sake, you can rename your rows to correspond with the sounds that are coming out of machine. Furthermore, you can change the icons and even the row colors. And last but not least, you're going to want to save this project as a template. So you don't have to do all of this work every time you want to use machine within logic. So click file, save as template and name it whatever you'd like. Personally, I have a template called machine step sequencer. And in that template, not only do I have everything routed, I also have some plugins and bus sends saved. Things such as EQs on each track, reverb sends, and even a parallel drum bus setup. As these are plugins and steps I do on all of my projects. Having this as a template and starting point streamlines my workflow where I can focus on creating and not worry about loading and routing plugins.